All right guys, so in today's video, I wanted to make a tutorial for a request that I recently received on one of my videos. So the commenter was basically asking how could they disable the behavior on the Dawn theme, where when you click a variant on your product, it scrolls back and moves the screen back to show the image of the variant that you've selected. So to do this, we're actually literally gonna comment out one line of code in your site's theme files. So this should be really simple and it, and it won't take you long at all. So here we are in our site's admin. Um, the first thing that I want you guys to do before you do anything else is make sure you go ahead and duplicate your theme file. And that way, in case something uh, breaks or whatever, you're going to be able to revert to a previously working copy of your theme. But once you've done that, go ahead and click on this edit code button here. All right, so once you're in your site's code editor, I want you guys to go ahead and type global here. And you'll notice in the assets folder, there's this global.js file. You want to go ahead and click on that. And once you're in this file, um, you want to navigate down to around line 620. Um, or you can just go ahead and search with a controller command F for scroll into view with no spaces. And once you're on this line, what you want to do is um, make some space here and create a comment just to let yourself know that this is the code that you've changed. And so I'm just going to say prevent scroll on variant change. And then you're also going to comment out this line here. Once you've commented out this line, you're going to go ahead and save. And then you can go ahead and refresh the product on your live store. You'll notice now that when we click on one of these variants, it's not going to scroll that product back into view. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you left a like so other people can find it. On this channel, I make tutorials that are easily implementable with copy paste code for beginners who really want to start getting into the back end of their site to customize their site a little bit more. So if that appeals to you, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, guys.